How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm going to be starting the Battle of the Newts. This is a very intense test where we're going to be testing out three different hydroponic solutions versus a control group uh, here for sunflowers. So let's quickly go over the parameters for this test. So what we've done for sunflowers is, well, our crop is sunflowers and we have soaked these for 12 hours now and we've distributed 500 grams of seed into four trays which is 125 grams of seed per tray. Uh, this is all seeded on top of BioStrate, which is a biopolymer blend uh, with natural fibers that's gonna act to help uh, retain moisture and help these guys kind of get rooted into something and all of these will be getting bottom watered with their specific nutrients. So, trying to do this quickly, if you look at this first tray right here, it is yellow, which that one's gonna be our control group, which it is uh, filtered water with uh, one tablespoon of Epsom salt. So the reason this has one tablespoon of Epsom salt is because I put one tablespoon of Epsom salt in everything and to keep the results consistent, I added it to our purified water as well. So moving on to the second group, it is a hydroponics liquid fertilizer that is Job's and it is two fertilizers from that brand. It is the starter and the grow. Uh, it also has one tablespoon of Epsom salt added to it. For the third one, it is Maxi Grow, uh, which also has one tablespoon of Epsom salt added to it, and this is the grow formula for the uh, Maxi Grow. And for the last group, it is the Job's Organic Water Soluble uh, Fertilizer that also has one tablespoon of Epsom salt added to it as well. So that's essentially what we've got going on for all of these guys what they're going to be receiving nutrient wise how they're seeded how dense they're seeded um, and to quickly talk about uh, the fertilizers if you'll take a look over here so i've got all my control groups over here and um, what we've done is we've gone ahead and written out the ppm of each so i did the recommended the minimum recommended dose for each one of these. And you'll notice that the PPM uh, varies quite differently. Uh, the regular H2O and Epsom salt is at 760 PPM. Our Job Starter and Grow is at 1200 PPM. Our Maxi Grow is at 3050 3, PPM. And the Job's Organic Water Soluble is at 930 PPM. So I know that was a lot of information, but I wanted to give that in-depth information as best as I could. So what we're hoping to achieve here is to see will uh, different fertilizers create different growth, potentially different taste, and uh, eventually which one will be the winner. So something I wanna talk about is not all of these are organic. Some of these uh, are just conventional hydroponic fertilizers. So I just want that to be considered as well. And lastly, the last thing I wanna talk about is that we will also be doing a test with four different uh, soil mediums. Uh, so we got two organic soils, Coco Coir, and a local sourced soil that Mandy will be running the test on. So what I'm gonna be trying to do is beat her growth uh, that she's gonna be doing in organic soils. I'm gonna try to beat it using hydroponics. So we'll see how this turns out. And uh, what I'll do, be doing from here is do a day-by-day -day play on how these guys are growing. All right, so today is day seven of our hydroponic battle of the newts for the sunflowers, and to, that means today is harvest day. So, I mean, just from first glance, it's pretty clear that this one right here is probably gonna be the winner, which is our Maxi Grow. Um, to recap though, our Epsom salt had very poor germination. This was supposed to be our 
control group and for some reason it just did not succeed which actually kind of works out because mandy's control group uh, for her dirt test actually had damping off and she lost that entire control group so we're just comparing newts versus uh dirt at this point with no control group so uh next we got our jobs this is our water or liquid fertilizer for the jobs it was a grow and starter it did really well uh shed it off a lot of those seed holes again the maxi grow just crushed it i mean these i've never seen cotyledons so huge cotyledons whatever you want to call them i like to say cotyledons because it sounds like a dinosaur uh and then our last one which was the organic uh jobs liquid water soluble or it wasn't liquid it was water soluble it was a powder form did very poorly as well so i'm gonna go ahead and get all these harvested and we'll talk weights what worked what did not work and i'll see you in just a second harvesting everything and we had our winner with a total weight of 422 grams which is our maxi grow uh, nutrient blend we tossed out the epsom salt and the job's organic water soluble because both of those had very low weights there's a lot of seed holes it was hard to harvest and i didn't feel confident in the product so we're just going to toss those out into our yard and have them uh, go back to the earth we did keep uh, the other, uh, which one was this? The Job Starter and Grow. Um, so that one actually did well with a total weight of 303 grams. So everything didn't turn out perfect in this uh, experiment. For example, our control group just did not germinate very well. So we didn't really have a baseline for this. Our water soluble organic one didn't put off the results that we would have liked. And everything else did decent uh, we've gotten much better growth in the past with our farmers pride blend so what i'll be doing hopefully soon is comparing the maxi grow to our farmers pride blend and see if we can uh, have a bit more of a competition here so mandy did finish harvesting all of her dirt ones and she has spanked me with a total weight of 532 on her heaviest tray which was uh, a local texas soil it's called texas pure and that just had the best weight and every one of hers actually had a lot better weight there all of hers sat around about the 430 mark which was uh still higher than our highest weight so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked it please give us a thumbs up if you dislike it give us a thumbs down if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the section below if you would like to our instagram is at on the grow farms you can follow us there for daily pictures, updates, stuff like that. And if you guys are very interested in experiments and trying to figure out how to grow in your own space and comparing soil to hydroponics and stuff like that, we do a lot of tests. So subscribe to us for more like that. Thank you and have a great day.